color shading, tattoos and everything. I really like this font. What's up guys? I got a package in the mail that I'm really really excited to open for you guys. Um, I don't have this in my collection, obviously. I never had it and I didn't think I'd ever have it. Those are the, the clues of what's in this box. <laughs> Worst clues ever. But I'm going to open this up for you guys. It's comic book related, so stay tuned. A lot of people that follow me for my comic hauls, finally I got a comic book in the mail. This is from FanExpoStore.com. FanExpo is a comic book convention out in Canada. And they put their exclusives online for pre-order. And they ship them to you. They don't do like an SDCC thing where they try to force you to go to the convention and pick something up. But you're going to be at the convention anyways because the ticket sold out. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. And then it, even if they're trying to get you to the convention, the ticket sold out and you can't even get to the convention because you don't have tickets. So why, why would you do an S San Diego Comic Con pickup? Why don't you just ship it to the people that want the items? It doesn't make sense to me. Take note, San Diego Comic Con, New York Comic Con, all the Comic Cons that um, Fan Expo store, Fan Expo comic convention is doing it right. They're sending items, exclusive items, to people that want it. So if you want it, you're going to stay up late and pre-order it, and it'll ship to your house. It doesn't force you to go to the convention that's sold out that you can't go to. It doesn't make sense. Anyways, that's my rant for the day. Let's open this up, and I want to show you guys what's inside this package. Exciting. Exciting. Okay. There's three issues here. If I could get them loose. There's three issues. Let me go ahead and show you guys the first issue. Boom. Boom. Zoom out for this. Focus for this. The Batman... Adventures, issue number 12, the first appearance of Harley Quinn. I would never have this reprint or any other first appearance of Harley Quinn in my collection if it wasn't for Fan Expo Store. So check this out. This is a cover by, who is it again? John Boy. This is a cover by John Boy. I follow him on Instagram. Really cool artist, but check that out. It's metallic in all its 90s glory um, so we have Harley Quinn we have the new outfit of Batgirl and we have Poison Ivy all of them look very nice lots of detail in the foreground lots of details in the character let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more there you go that makes it a lot better Check out Harley, she's winking at you. Poison Ivy. And let's check the... This is the big question, is the condition on point. This looks like a very fragile copy. Because you could see every little dot right there. You see a dot there. And every little nick. But so far, so good. I'm going to attempt to take this out of its bag. Zoom out a little bit for you guys. So check it out. A beautiful chrome copy of the first appearance of Harley Quinn. And on the back, it's very nice and subtle, and it's taking every fingerprint possible. Special convention exclusive. Rated E for everyone. Really nice. Beautiful, beautiful comic book. I'm going to set this aside so I don't destroy it. And I purchased two more copies of the original cover. So check that out. It's a little more, it's a little different in the background. We have Ladies Night in the background. Um, we have apartment ladders, uh, a cityscape in the background, or a city in the background. The color is a lot more vibrant on here. I like it. I kind of like the, this colored version. Oh shoot. I kind of like this colored version better than the chrome, just because. Uh, the whole cover is colored beautifully. But John Boy's art is awesome. I like that they chose him to do this cover. If the, he didn't, if this artist didn't do Harley Quinn well, um, this whole cover would have been a fail. But I love it. 
all the females look on point. It's a beautiful cover. First appearance of Harley Quinn. I don't even know what it looks like inside of these books. So I'm going to go ahead and flip through one of them. Hopefully I don't damage them. But they came in really good condition. These look near mint. I'm really happy the way they shipped it. And it's awesome. I got some convention exclusives without going to the convention. So please take note. San Diego Comic Con, New York Comic Con, all the other Comic Cons. Put your exclusives online and allow everyone in the whole world to be able to get these. If you guys want to make money, that's a good way to do it. Exclusivity is cool, but if I really wanted it, make it available to everyone. Talk to you guys later. Hope you guys like this haul. Talk to you guys later. Let me know what you guys think about the reprint of Harley Quinn. Is it worth anything to you guys to have the reprint of the first appearance of Harley Quinn? Um, and that that book is probably the hottest book out right now. It's hotter than the first appearance of Deadpool. Harley Quinn is surpassing every single comic book character, in my opinion. So, in popularity. But her book is on fire. I'm never going to be able to buy that. I had an opportunity to buy it for $200 once. And now I'm kicking myself because I didn't purchase that. But check it out. I got these and I'm happy about them. They're about like $18 a piece, maybe $15 a piece. Maybe even cheaper, I'm not really sure. Um, I don't remember. Alright, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later, and hopefully I could provide some more comic book hauls for you guys. Take care. Floating away with you in the backseat of my car.